Burnley Villa. Burnley Villa. Boy, so you know it's cooking. <laughs> you could have been. The only thing I will say is what's wor- not worrying, but what's interesting is none of the promoted teams have won. Yeah. But again, I think they got to take. No, so for United. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got they got to take the points of each other and then the failing teams. They got to go at Everton and take points. In the yeah. first three games, they got to take go Everton and take points. Yeah. And there's only <laughs> been Luton, four goals. Luton and Burnley have only played two because they meant to play each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, but like Burnley didn't play that bad. Like they, um, obviously they get you back to two one, and you think can they can they kick on? But that guy Diaby man, he's looking bro serious. Looking like tidy, cash, isn't he? That, that cash double serious yeah. business. Forget the the goal, just, just the play, the forward play, yeah. Watkins, Diaby, the link up. I, I'll say something though. That first goal, I thought we were gonna get another feel bad. The noise when he hit the post, I thought, oh, he yeah. must be mashed up. Man, got up, he was celebrating. Yeah. But From yeah, the other angle, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, Villa, Villa looked good. Um, you're right. Everyone, I, I didn't know anything about him, but Mark said it first. He said, yeah. Diaby's a big signing. He's a good player and he's proving he's it every a, week. A every player. week. Good so yeah. if you can keep, again, that's the kind of player. If you can keep it up, Liverpool or someone are going to want him, you know, one of the bigger teams is going to be 90, 100 mil. And it's like, why did you buy him when you had the in chance. the first place? Yeah. Because he, he could come to Liverpool and do a job now. Yeah, 100%. Um, the, the early, okay, it's not Liverpool because you've got Jota, you've got Diaz. You're not short on the wings. <laughs> Nunes can play out there, but you know what I mean. There's there's probably teams that could do with him. We were linked with him, you know. Um, they talk about Pepe coming back. I'm like, unless it was a budgeting thing, that's someone you should have you should be bringing in, and it's him and Saka competing on the right hand side. Yeah, he was fifty yeah. million, though, no? fifty five million, something like that. Peanuts, that. but yeah, he's looking oh, like oh, a really good buy. Burnley. I'm not worried, too worried about Burnley. No, I'm not. In the sense that if you watch them last season, mm. the company had them playing ball. Mm. Obviously, he said it himself in the interview. It's a big jump. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. To the Premier And he's saying they're right. learning. They're, Each they're, week. They're paying the price. Yeah. For they're yeah. they're going to learn. They're going to get mm. better. It's just how quickly yeah. can that then translate to results on the pitch. Yeah. And I won't be surprised if they make a couple more loan signings before... Yeah, they're gonna need no to. closes, they're and I think that's the benefit to. of three or four games. He seems like a guy that's ruthless enough to be like, you know what, <laughs> I need X, I need Y. So I don't know if they'll buy anyone new. I don't know what their what their constraints are there, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he makes a couple of loan signings from prem teams. You know, some some talented youngsters or yeah, and they had sixteen days off as well. Like, yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, between two games, that is a um, long, long term. So yeah, Villa march on. It, it's it's interesting. I mean, look at the table, first three games. All the way down to what eighth? Um, everyone's one two, um, and some teams who have had a better start than we thought. You know your West Ham's, um, your Brentford's, etc. But um, it's been a fast start to the season, man. It's been a real fast start yeah. to the season, and it feels like there's more bigger games. Obviously, with like Newcastle becoming more established. Yeah. So, like, we've had Tottenham, Man United, we've had Liverpool, Newcastle, yeah. we've got Man United, Arsenal next week. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal have got, not a difficult run, but, like, mm. got a lot of the bigger teams over the next kind of month or so. Yeah. Listen, Liverpool, in their first three games, have mm. gone to... Stamford Bridge. Stamford Bridge. And St. James's Park. And St. James's Park and come away with four points. Yeah. yeah. But to Keith's point, we weren't looking first at St. James's Park as a big game 18 months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's almost more, there are more people who have That's what I'm saying. put themselves yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the funny thing is, we've done that last season. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> yeah, the, it's I the mean, other games we got to get the back. First yeah, three but mentally, games, yeah. mentally, that's. Yeah. I, I didn't think we'd have seven points. I'm not going to lie. I, I after said, after three games, I said in the group, but I, but I think January is going to be more important. That, that January transfer window is going to be more important this season than it has been for a while, because with so many people, the margins are tight. So many people, you know, stepping up the level. Mm. Whoever can make the right chess moves in Jan, whether it's loan or if you're a relegated team, you bring in that guy that makes a difference. I think January might. I might be wrong, but I think January might be proved to be really pivotal this yeah. year in a few. Yeah. And teams like years. Newcastle. You kind of think, all right, if they lose to Brighton next week, mm. that's, that's three losses on the bounce mm. going into the international break. After the break, you've got the Champions League draws on Friday. Go on. You've got Champions League 
in September. He's gonna say what I think he's gonna say. No, I'm just saying that like you've got a you've got to look how they're gonna manage their, their team of squad. Oh, like sorry. <laughs> what do you think I, I'm I thought say? you were gonna say, boy, he's he's on the chopping block. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Like, oh. he, he got he, he got credit. <laughs> no, but it's just like how how do they manage that? Because yeah. yeah, Champions League is gonna be like massive <sighs> for them. It's like how do do you put your why, first team and then in the Champions League? I think that's when why he tried to do a bit of a two player for every spot piece, right? He brought in Barnes. You got Livermento, they go oh, all I think all from Chelsea. All well, from Chelsea. Signing. I don't yeah. think there's a the last sign is I think we might see a couple more before Friday. He's just trying so to build it to a buffer. Just on that whole signing, does he go straight in and Dan Burn? No. Nah. What happens to Dan Burn? I, no, I think it's I think it's like John said, like the two mm. two players. So you think Dan Burn keeps yeah. his spot yeah. left back? Yeah. yeah. For now. And if, now. if Hall comes in and Champions League, job, I think he's gonna have a Mazza. He's gonna get <laughs> I think he's gonna have a Mazza. <laughs> Big man like that at left back. Well, not even that. I just no. Come on, I've just never, exactly that. He's he's decent. I've just I've personally never seen it, and I think at that level in the right group he'll get exposed. I mean, even in the prem, put a diaby against him. Yeah, yeah running yeah. rings I'm, around. I'm him. very interested in those games, but he he's done well. He's part of the reason they got to where they were. So look, at Nunes, look how Nunes just ghosted him. Yeah, yeah, that was mad. It was poor, but it's poor defending. And he, to your point, him not sorting his feet out is just 